All right, I'm going to do my best to talk and uh, play the game and hopefully think at the same time. So this is Grim Space. Uh, I made it and, you know, some people have helped play test it. That's beside the point. Let's get into the game. You just got to click through this menu. This menu will go away. I don't really like it that much. So here's, this is the game as it starts in. You start with a little bit of cash and a little bit of experience. You can go down to the station and you can turn that into upgrades for this ship. I know from a, from a lot of experience playing with this ship, you need to upgrade the blaster and the power core. Those are the two big ones. And then you can also choose from other ships. We have the Acolyte, which, you know, is this red thing. It, uh, it shoots little missiles that are heat-seeking. Don't worry about it. In this update, which is, you know, what I should be talking about, is uh, this. These are supposed to be little chunks of dirt. Uh, I call it materia, basically the things that the world is made out of. And this is the very smallest version of materia that I want to exist within the world. It's fairly large relative to the ships, but I imagine it being about 10 or so times larger. Unfortunately, that doesn't really make sense when these are also meant to be um, breakable and carryable by the ship. The bigger version just doesn't doesn't really make sense. I have to create this small thing to turn into the big thing. And unfortunately, it seems that this particular small thing has a lot more hit points than I expected. And as such, it is uh, not breaking down in a timely fashion. I'll have to fix that. Anyways. This is all just an addition to the combat system that already exists where things shoot at you and you have to shoot back at them and they destroy pieces of you and you die. Let's try that again. Okay, back to access station. Let's test. Let's do the Lunarian. Oh no, I already bought an upgrade for this Squire. We have the Light Blaster. I have 400 experience. I can't purchase anything else here. I can, however, go to build, and I can build. I can use this, my coins, my cash, to build ships that will follow me around and help me fight. That's what it looks like. Now I got buddies. So these things take a little bit, a little bit of time to settle. They have to uh, collide with the station and then connect and stay connected to it for three seconds before they become part of your station. And then you can fly over them. All uh, right. So I'm going to try again to collect this thing. It seems my buddies will not help me break it. That's fine. It's not fine. I'm going to fix that so hard. Just break. Now, my buddy just lost his armor on the, on the one side. This is why you have why, why you buy the buddies, by the way. <laughs> That's all. Um, I do have enough experience to purchase an upgrade again. Uh, see, I have 650 over here. And it's 500 for a level 1 upgrade. And... When I'm traveling from one place to the next, I like to press shift because I know that shift causes me to go faster. Now, there is a limit to how fast I can, how long I can go fast. This white ring, like kind of a little faded spot as you walk, see how that goes down? That's your energy. And I just upgraded mine. The game is meant to be played with these upgrades. That is, a, that is, An inherent truth of the design. Now I'm going to go after these little red dots because the little red dots are indicators that show where enemies are. It also shows you where your allies are if they're too far away from you. See these two um, dirt chunks are part of my tower already so I can fly over them. The enemy cannot. Additionally the enemy can um, 
has to break through them in order to get to your station. Uh, dirt chunks act as hit points currently. I don't have a lot of them, and they're a little hard to hard to uh, acquire at the moment. But that's that's the end design. Again, this is the very first iteration of these things being in the game. I'm gonna go to the lab. I'm gonna upgrade a little something something. I'm gonna get myself some extra accuracy and some more frames. Can I buy up? Okay, that's still broken. Four more friends. Uh, now where was I? I'm over here. I need to make it more obvious which uh, which ship is the player. I recognize that already. So I kind of want to. Oh, it wouldn't work anyways. They have so much hit points. Ah, screw it. Let's go. Let's go fight the station. I'm going to try to keep this to under 10 minutes. So let's, I, I'm not, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat the station in time. I might actually, oh, rock. That's going to happen a lot. There's going to be a lot more rocks in the future, and you're going to run into them. So your buddies will absolutely help you kill the station. And that is a great thing because the, uh, Ship individually at this level, especially, is not very strong. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding down the right uh, right mouse buttons to lock my characters uh, facing, because I want my nose pointed towards the tower. It has more hit points. So we've knocked out a couple of the tiles, and here goes the uh, turret. Now it won't shoot me anymore. I have to figure out which one's me. It looks like I am this one. That's, I need to make it more obvious uh, which uh, ship is the enemy, which ship belongs to the player. Now, the, the enemy station will also collect dirt. Uh, and it works the same way as your station where the, um, oh shoot. I'm gonna go get more buddies and upgrade I've got that little uh, run that I just did got me a fair amount of experience in cash. So I'm going to take myself back to this station. And I know it's south. Um, I have the background set up so that it, in a large way, actually shows you what direction things are. Lab. I'm going to upgrade the armor just so you can see what that looks like. And then I'm going to go for more pew pew because pew pew is all, everything. I'm gonna push these buttons to make stronger allies. The, uh, they cost more, but they're better versions of my old buddies. So you can definitely tell with the armor that you've got the upgrade, because you know, you got bigger. Um, but the bullets also get larger as you upgrade them for the damage. We're gonna go kill some guys. So one thing to bear in mind uh, when playing with these uh, this ship that sword has high collision resistance so it is an actual sword and you should absolutely stab your enemies with it. Don't stab the enemy station with it. Uh, it's it won't work but the enemy ships absolutely stab them so hard. My guys are kind of stupid, but they're trying their best. I had other things to fix in their brain. But, you know, that went a lot faster than the first one. Ah, oh, crap. I need to go repair myself. Eee! I'm, I'm going to lose all my buddies. It's okay. That's your hit points. You can see the damage on your ship itself. And if a piece gets broken, you can no longer repair it. Spacebar does repair it. I'm not going to be able to beat this in time. You guys don't get to watch that. It's okay. Uh, I don't have enough for more for more pew pew, so I'm going to do power core instead. Oh, uh, I gotta go build the thing again. My ten minutes is up. That's all you get. That's all you get, folks. I'm doing one take. 
and one take only. How do I stop that? 